Hi, welcome. Today I'm going to be showcasing the April 2024 Spellbinders Wax Seal of the Month Club Kit, as well as several other products from Spellbinders. Let's get started. When you receive your wax seal, it'll come in a box. This month it's called Cross Stitch Heart, and the full bag of wax beads is the color Cloudy Sky. So you get a handle, a wax seal, and a full bag of wax seal beads, which this all comes on a monthly basis. It's a great way to start building your wax seal stash. What I've done here is I have a little warmer. Uh, Spellbinder sells the warmer and the spoon, but instead of using a tea light, I'm going to just use my heat gun to warm up those wax seals and melt them. You could use a little tea light candle inside there and let your spoon rest while the beads are melting. I just prefer it this way. It's one less thing I have to bother with. I already have my heat gun nearby. And you, yeah, I'm using a silicone mat and I'm pressing the seal down into the melted wax beads. While that is setting for a minute, I'll go ahead and melt some more. And I usually put four of the beads inside. And this wax seal is the shape of a circle. Sometimes they make them in an oval. One time it was a square. Last month was a square. Yeah, so they're really fun to create with. They make a nice accent on the front of your card or on your envelope. Once I press that down in there, again, I keep repeating this step until I get several completed seals uh, that I'm satisfied with. And it's pretty easy to do. And as long as you have a heat gun and a spoon like this and a little place to rest that spoon, you could be on your way or just get the Spellbinders set that they created that has a silicone mat, a spoon, a little warmer. Um, it also has some tea lights and it basically it has everything you need to go ahead and get started uh, creating with wax seals. Uh, I like Spellbinders wax seals. They're high, I mean wax beads, excuse me. They're high quality and they're easy to melt and they are easy to stamp, you know, your wax seal into. Um, yeah, they have a nice product line with these. I would highly recommend them. It doesn't take long, just a few minutes and you have several to select from. If you create one that you don't like and you want to redo it, just do this. You can take a pair of scissors and trim it down. But let's go ahead and get a close up look. Here's what it looks like when it's cooled. You just let it cool for a minute and then you can just peel it right off that silicone. And I think there's one that I didn't quite like and I decided to cut up into pieces and redo, but we might not be there yet in the video. All right, so we've got four done now. Oh, here's the one I'm cutting up. I'm not sure which one it was, but it was one of the three that I just showed you earlier. Anyways, you can just trim it up with your scissors, put it back in the spoon, melt it down, and try again. Isn't that great? You can also mix your colors and swirl them, of your colors of wax beads, and swirl them to get a marbled look. So that's always fun, too. But for today, I'm just sticking with the, this color. I like this color, Cloudy Sky. And the wax seal, again, is called Cross Stitch Heart. Um, if you have never ordered from Spellbinders or if you've never had a Spellbinders Club of the Month, you are um, able to order this between the 6th and the 27th of the month. So between the 6th and the 27th of the month, you can actually pick up and order any of the kits for this month. And, um, you know, Spellbinders basically has a kit for everything. 
there's an embossing folder, a 3D embossing folder, there's Glimmer of the Month, there's um, Stamp and Die of the Month, and there's Stitching Die of the Month, and I'm sure I'm forgetting one. Um, but yeah, so a lot of fun. You can also get what they call the whole caboodle. And if you get the whole caboodle, you get every club that they offer, plus an extra product each month, a mystery product. Yeah, so it's a pretty good system that they have in place. Um, the clubs that I subscribe to are the Glimmer of the Month, and I subscribe to the regular embossing folder and the 3D embossing folder of the month. And I also subscribe to the stamp and die of the month. Oh, there's a large die of the month, a small die of the month. I forgot about those. Spellbinders sends me the wax seal of the month, though. This is sent to me by Spellbinders. They also send me the stitching die of the month and the better press of the month. So let's go ahead and switch over to coloring our wax seal impressions. When you color, you want to use a metallic paint marker. And Spellbinder sells these ones by Deco. They're so good. They're like really, really effective. Look how nice they look when I colored that image. And then I also have some that are like generic, but they don't color as good. So I'm going to order some of the nicer ones for sure from Spellbinders. But you see what I'm doing? I'm just taking the marker and just coloring that wax seal area. Uh, this marker is gold. It shows up pretty good. And this has like a little cross stitch heart. It has a little needle and some thread and then an outside circle. So there you go. I have five completed of them and I can use them on my cards. I've got silver, gold, and then sort of a bronze color. And I think they all look very nice. I'm really pleased with this and how they turned out. I keep going over the silver just so that I can get m more of a pop. Okay, let's go ahead and assemble this, make a card. So I have the 3D embossing folder from last month. It's called Classic ba Backdrop. I also have the Leafy Sprigs dies and the Twine etch dies. And I used some silver, metallic silver cardstock to trim the little leaf sprigs and the twine etched dies. And I'm going to show you how to use this twine etched dies. I also have the sealed wax seals uh, stickers. They're adhesive. They are really good for keeping those wax seals in place on your card front. Let's show you how to use these stickers. You want to use your tool in one just to grab one of these stickers and place it on the back of your wax seal and they have little tabs that you can use to tear them off and they're sticky on both sides so once you have it on there then you want to pull off the backing and then voila you just can adhere that directly to your card now i like this twine etch die i like to be able just to fold it over and just um have the back of it have the rest of it on the back, take a couple pieces of my um, best ever craft tape and um, put it on the back and that's not going anywhere. So that is how I created the card. I'm showing you now the leaf sprigs. I cut them out with um, metallic silver cardstock and as well as the twine etched die. You have to cut it out twice for one card. So you get one die for twine, and then you cut it out twice. I made a lot of extra pieces so that I could have a couple extra cards. And um, I'm thinking, well, what kind of card do I want? Do I want this to be a 
thank you card. But then I said, I said, let's do a birthday card because I always need birthday cards. So I grabbed my card base and I'm going to go ahead and adhere the panel straight down to my card base. I'm going to be using some Spellbinders adhesive tape. And I just take that tape right over the top of the twine um, die in the back. I mean, I guess you could trim those off, but I think they look nicer wrapped around. You know, it's supposed to be sort of looking like what it would look like if you just had some twine. But I like these colors together, the blues and the silvers, super pretty. And then I have this little better press sentiment. This is from Spellbinders. This is the Always and Forever Sentiment Strips press plate and die and this one has multiple greetings um, it's a very popular item it's currently sold out over at Spellbinders but you can be put on the wait list to be notified for when it comes in stock again these um, I'm using Spellbinders foam squares the small ones these sentiments when you cut them out they have like a banner edge on each end and I trimmed it so that it would fit the front of my card. And I'm just going to put it down here in the corner. This is sort of trying to be like an understated card, not with a gigantic sentiment, so that that wax seal takes the center stage. Here are some still photos of my finished card. I hope you enjoyed watching me create it. I want to say thanks for watching. Um, if you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe. Please give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. What do you think about this card that I created? And what do you think about the wax seals? Thanks so much for watching. Have a hopeful day. Bye-bye.